So it is not a new thing now that a lot of store chefs uh, now store their chefs with gums, mint, sweets, or mouthwashing products in order to fight halitosis, which we all know as bad breath. Well, those are just temporary treatments that can be done. But you need to treat yourself according to the underlying causes. And that's the only way you can have your permanent treatment. Causes could be your poor oral hygiene. It could be the food you eat. It could be some medications. Yeah, there are some medications that cause you bad breath. It could be taking off tobacco products, smoking and all of that. It could be dry mouth. Yeah, it could be dry mouth. And also it could be infections in your mouth. There are other causes like when you, you know, when you when there is reflux in your um stomach, stomach reflux where you 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 breathe breathe out what you've eaten for a few hours back and you know breathing in out it will bring some kind of odor. So when you have halitosis, you need to know the cause. When you have know the cause, then you can know the treatment. So bad breath can be embarrassing. It can be embarrassing and it can cause anxiety in the public. It can cause discriminations. So when you have it, it's not new, it's just a condition. You can just walk up to any, any clinic or hospital with the doctor. Then you tell you let them know your problem. Yeah. If they can get the courses, then definitely they will be able to get solution to it and a permanent one.